15 countries where you won't find a wife because there aren't enough women. The ratio between men and women has been up and down since the beginning of life itself. With women usually coming out on top due to staying alive that little bit longer, while men have often lagged behind due to warfare and higher mortality rates. However, there are also a number of other creepy and terrifying issues that rock the gender imbalance between the two sexes. One example is violence against women, which has most definitely caused an imbalance around the world. Another example is deliberate gender control, a sickening practice that involves sex-selective infanticide, particularly occurring in China and India. Plus, with war comes large-scale migration, which has also been another factor with regards to gender imbalance and young people being unable to reproduce. With men now seemingly catching up to their female counterparts, it looks like we will soon be in a world overpopulated by men with women on the back burner for the very first time. So what are the consequences of these events? Although high ratios of men make it easier for women to marry, it ultimately makes it harder for men. For example, in a number of places across the globe, there are a number of men who will most likely remain single for the rest of their lives. So, to dig a little deeper, here are 15 countries where you won't find a wife because there aren't enough women. 9. China. After decades of gender bias and selective sex birth methods, China is a country of basically just men. In fact, there are a whopping 30 million more men in China than women, leaving a lot of men single and unmarried. With the gender imbalance the most serious in the entire world, Chinese officials have now begun trying to fix the problem that they themselves created in the first place. However, with 115 baby boys born to just 100 baby girls, the problem still seems to be very apparent. And, with the need for a male heir still extremely prominent within Chinese culture, the gender bias is still an active part of traditional China, especially in more rural areas. Sadly this leaves a number of unwanted children who are often left on the street to die. Last year, the Chinese government attempted to resolve this problem by launching drop zones for unwanted infants. However, the plan failed after being overwhelmed with infants who also suffered from severe disabilities. 10. Sweden. Mostly known for its beautiful people. Sweden often ranks high with regards to just how stunningly attractive their inhabitants are. And for the first time ever, and also unexpectedly, there are now more men to choose from than women. The gap, which first opened in 2015 at 277 more men than women, is now a whopping 12,000. But how? Noting to big reasons to why this has happened, Sweden has put it down to the ever-ing same housing problem not enough accommodation for its citizens and the recent immigrant crisis in Europe. With houses and apartments extremely limited across Sweden, more and more people are moving away, with women said to be at the top of the list. Plus, with conflict and instability across Afghanistan, Syria, and North Africa, it has resulted in up to 35,000 unaccompanied male minors making their way over to Sweden in 2016. So if you are a single lady looking for love, you know where to go. 11. The United Arab Emirates. In 1901, colonial officials from British India carried out a survey detailing the population of what was then called the Trucial States, now the UK. With the figure back then reaching the meekly 40,000 people, women had the majority over their male counterpart with 22,000. However, fast forward the century, a brand new makeover, and a tourism hot spot, and the outcome is extremely different. The country, which now holds a whopping 9 million inhabitants, has prospered hugely with regards to wealth and tourism and a sudden increase in the male species. Yet. Now outnumbering women by a gigantic amount, it was revealed at the end of 2016 that for every hundred women there were 247 men. But, with the lack of women comes a lack of marriage, leaving a number of Arab men single and unmarried causing them to leave the country too. 12. Norway. Much like its neighbor, Sweden, 
Norway has followed suit with men increasingly outnumbering women as the years go on. In fact, the country has 12,000 more men than women, with Norwegian men finding it difficult to find that special someone. Naming the migration as the main cause, the migrants actually accounted for 70% of the increase in men in 2016. And, with social scientists now unclear to how this gender tilt would play out with regards to equality and Norway's liberal progressiveness, some have suggested that the increase in men will threaten the advancements that have been made by women over the last few years. However, with gender imbalance seemingly a common theme throughout history it is likely that females will outnumber men again in the upcoming future. MMMMM 13. Italy the Italians love their country, so much so that they are the least likely to move country or even town. In fact, the Italians even find it difficult to leave home full stop, with the majority of young adults leaving home in their mid to late thirties. However, with women outnumbering men when it comes to school and university grades, more and more women have ended up venturing away from home and even to other countries altogether. The traditional role of wife and mother is no longer appealing to the young Italian woman, with working women declaring themselves more satisfied and happier than housewives and mothers. This sudden change has resulted in men outnumbering women throughout the country, as women go in search of new challenges leaving behind the men who have refused to conform to the changes of their country. Unlucky. 14. Iceland one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world, Iceland still has that somewhat mysterious quality to it. With men outnumbering women by 1.7%, the lack of women in Iceland was becoming a serious problem, which has resulted in extreme methods being taken by the Icelandic government. So much so that rumors began to spread with regards to the men who were left to rot on the shelf and forever remain single. That's right with the government said to be offering foreigners money to marry their men, the going rate was said to be around $5,000, with the only condition being that they were to stay in Iceland. However, with the rumor said to be completely false, the Icelandic government issued a statement that it was indeed false, with the offer nothing but an amusing hoax. 15. Greece with the recent immigrant crisis forcing thousands of families across the Middle East to seek new homes and new starts elsewhere, Greece has somewhat become a halfway point between war and a brand new life. Originally a resting place for a number of young men who initially set out for the UK or France, Greece suddenly became a final destination due to its cheap living and beautiful weather. With this resulting in the ratio of men to women increasing, Women have once again taken a back seat with regards to employment and jobs. In fact, Greece is one of the worst places in Europe for equality between the sexes, with women often being paid less when compared to their male counterparts as well as being treated exceptionally different.